Hi, welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. Ed Srinivasan Chastri. Uh, we are uh, trying to know about the unknown facts about the planets. We have completed the Sun and Moon. Now today we are going to take up Mars. What are all the secrets behind Mars' signification? How Mars is going to react when it is following a planet or when it is followed by a planet? And sometimes what it exactly says about the native, okay? In connection with the significations which already Mars gives us. Clear? Okay. What are all the significations which Mars gives us? Mars tells us about the land or house. The house in which the native is born or the house in which the native will live. He might have born in one house, but wherever he goes, according to the situation of the Mars, he will live in such a house only. Okay, that is one thing. With the placement of Mars, or through the placement of Mars, we can know the locality of the house, the surroundings of the house, what is there, and how to know that, that I am going to teach you today. Clear? This is one point. And about skills. Skills means in a profession, if it is a technical profession, <coughs> skills are given by the planet Mars. How far the skills are good? How far the skills are bad? All these things are given by Mars. Mars tells us how far the native will be skilled. For every profession, there is skills. For example, if you take the profession of a painter, it may be a local painter or a world-renowned artist. Skills with the hands. Surgeon, skills with the hands. And a singer, musician, not singer, musician, skills with the hands. So likewise, skills are also given by Mars, the planet Mars. And in a female case, Mars is nothing but husband. Okay? Finally, Mars tells about the brothers of the native. So, under these contexts, we will place Mars in different placements. I am not talking about the houses from Jupiter. Okay? People get confused again. So, for that reason, I am not going to take up here from Jupiter in which was Mars is no but in case in some certain in some cases we have to use that to give you the hidden fact of that Mars apart from the regular what we give for number of house or uh, the number of house in which Mars stays from Jupiter apart from that there is other significations which we are going to learn today okay so when I said Mars, the first thing is brothers, okay, wherever in whichever Rasi or sign Mars is placed, in whichever Rasi or sign Mars is placed and the planets together with that Mars tells us the number of brothers and sisters in the family. I'll give you an example. For example, Mars is here in Taurus. Together with Mars, if you have Saturn, if you have Venus, or if you have Sun, Mars, Saturn, Venus, Sun. So how many are there? One, two, three, four. So totally in that house, four siblings are there. Okay. This is how we understand about Mars and the planets together in a sign or a Rasi, immaterial of whichever Rasi is there, immaterial of whichever sign is there. Exaltion, debilation, trikona, nothing. This is just a placement in a sign or a Rasi and the planets together with it. Fine? 
and among these planets, if at all, there is a Rahu, just imagine there is one Rahu or there is a Ketu and they, those things we have to minus. If Rahu is seen with the count is totally fine or 1, 2, 3, 4. If you remove Sun and put Rahu there, the total is 4 only but 1 will not survive. This is how we come to know about Mars and the brothers. So Mars is purely about the brothers. Planets together with Mars in any sign or Rasi tells us about the siblings of that house, of the native's house. Inclusive of native I am telling you. Okay. This is one point where Mars comes in hand. Second thing. When I tell you about the brother and the siblings, again, Mars has certain qualities. I told you, it is a malefic. Okay? When it is a malefic, and uh, sometimes it has criminal intelligence, cheating type of a nature also, the planet, I am talking about the planet, not the person. So when such is the situation, when, when this is the situation, the placement of Mars and the action giver Saturn will play a major role. Okay? Because each and every action of an individual, of a native, he or she will be, will be given by Saturn. In addition to that, if Mars is there, totally it gives a different significance. I mean, it gives additional significations. That I will tell you when I do it. Okay? Right now I am concentrating on how far Mars will aspect, uh, Mars's aspect will result. For example, Jupiter is in the fourth house. I mean, Jupiter is in Sagittarius. Okay? When Jupiter in Sagittarius and from Jupiter, fourth house is Mother. Clear? If Mars aspects the fourth house, not the moon, the fourth house. I am talking about the native. See, this is Jupiter. One, two, three, four. This is fourth house. Fourth house. Okay? And the Mars staying in. Uh, this is uh, nine. Uh, this is, uh, okay, sixth house. Okay? Mm, so, 9, 10, 11, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. We will let, let us say that Mars is here. Because I, I, I find it a little tough with this. Regularly my usage is South Indian chart. Just to make the North Indian chart people understand it perfectly, I have to do it in this form. I do it is a little difficult. Little. But still I manage it. <clears throat> so when Mars aspects the fourth house, I am talking about the native, not the brother. When Mars aspects the fourth house from Jupiter, definitely it will bring less affection towards the mother or the mother's affection will be less towards the native. This is for sure. Sometimes, if placed in the fourth house, but usually, fourth house, if fourth house is aspected by Mars, either the eighth house aspect or the seventh house aspect, if Mars aspects the fourth house, fourth house from Jupiter is aspected by Mars, definitely there will be less love and affections towards the native. Mother will have, fourth house is mother, mother will have less love and affections towards the native. This is the result of Mars aspecting the fourth house. This is one thing. Second thing, if we place Saturn and Mars together, kindly note these are the hidden facts. These are useful for
for predicting okay not only predicting just the general what call it a planet a chart reading throughout the life the same result will be there and it is for throughout the life not for a temporary period in case if the transiting jupiter touches that place at that situation the trouble will be more for that particular aspect i tell you how <clears throat> for example saturn and mars together anyway saturn and mars together what all it gives in material of sign of rasi saturn or mars in any sign in any sign saturn and mars in any sign if they are conjoined first thing is saturn is proficient mars is an enemy don't think that he is in aries i am not talking about any rasi i am talking in any sign but i have to show you by placing it in one particular place so if saturn and mars are together in any sign they tell us that the native will have problems in getting a stable job or problems in getting stability in the job i'm talking about the native not the brother okay and this combination of saturn and mars saturn is action mars is criminal mentality playfulness whatever you call it this native will become quarrelsome please if such combination is there don't mistake me other planets are also included here right now i am trying to give you the combination of only two planets just with that two planets combinations don't get into misconclusions or mis ideas be perfect in watching the other aspects also if you want to deal with the chart this is only for learning don't use this into your prediction you use this in addition to the aspects if there is no aspect be sure the native with this combination will become troublesome quarrel some that's fine then. okay in case if the same combination is there in a female chart it purely tells us that the husband will be having problems okay because mars is the husband in case of a female chart the husband will be having problems fine and other thing is this uh, mars and saturn mars is desire everybody knows that mars is desire saturn is the action in this combination only certain times marriage will be delayed male or female chart mars and saturn immaterial of in any rasi or sign marriage will be delayed clear this is about mars chart combination what one it is quarrelsome it makes the native quarrelsome second it makes the native it gets the native a delayed marriage third it will not bring stability in the professional part or he may not get job that easily fourth because mars is land and saturn is an enemy saturn is a slow moving planet getting a land buying a house developing a land all these things all these aspects in case of this native will become slow he cannot finish the house in time 
If he buys a land, he cannot get it registered properly or fast. All this slowness is given by Saturn together with Mars. So this is about Saturn and Mars in, together in one conjunction. Next. If at all, if at all, Mars is in one house and Sun is following Mars. This is one more combination. If Sun is following Mars, in these cases, one thing you can say that the father of the native, because Sun is the father, the father of the native might have a government job and landed property income. In addition to this, problems in the family, father's family. When he was married or when he went, when he dragged his life along with his wife at that point. Okay. So this son, uh, the mass, uh, son following the mass will give father a government appointment or a government salary or a government money. Landed property, because it is land, landed property income through rent, something like that. And because it is the second house from father, definitely father will have troubles in the family life. Next. In case Jupiter, Jupiter follows Saturn. In case Jupiter follows Saturn. That means the native will get the landed property income. Okay? I am not talking about the natives, natives profession because for native for the father Kutambasthanam is the second house. Not Saturn. Saturn is only giving the job to the native. For each child, that Saturn will give you the job. For finding the Kutubasthanam, I mean for finding the finance part of it of the father or the Dhanasthana Adipati, second was from son, about a moon, about a mother, second was from moon. Likewise, this is one thing. Hope you are understanding. This is over. So right now we studied about Mars and number of planets, number of siblings. Mars and Jupiter, Mars and Sun, landed property income. And next, <coughs> when Mars and Saturn sits in the Venus's house, when Mars and Saturn sits in Venus house. When Mars and Saturn sits in Venus house, it tells us clearly that if the native has a sister, female native or a male native, if she or he has a sister, the sister will be in troubles. Venus house is nothing but sister's house. Both Taurus, Libra, Prashabam, Tula. Both are Venus's houses. This is also Venus's house. Whenever Mars and Saturn sits or placed in a natal chart in Libra or Taurus, the sister will have, the native sister, he or she, the native may be, the sister will have problems. This is one thing. Second, when Mars and Saturn sits in Leo, this is 9th, okay, where this is 9, 10, 11, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mars and Saturn in Leo. 
when Mars and Saturn sits in Leo, it tells us, it tells us that the father will be suffering a lot of problems because it is son's house. Venus is wife's house or sister's house. That placement of Mars and Saturn, conjunction of Mars and Saturn in that house will trouble the sister. If it is in Leo, it will trouble the father. Likewise, if it is in Cancer, the mother's house. If Mars and Saturn are in conjunction, placed in Cancer. Okay? In this situation, the mother will be put into problems, the mother will be facing problems, as simple as that. There are many ways of knowing mother's happiness, mother's problems. One, fourth house from fourth tells us about the mother's happiness. This is the second one. We always have a second line running parallel to the main line. Second signification, hidden signification, for the main signification to be perfect in our words or in our predictions. Right? This is one thing. Second, I told you from Jupiter, the third house is younger brother, 11th house will be the elder brother. Fine. Apart from that, Mars is the brother in a female child. Or a male chart, uh, in a female chart or a male chart, Mars acts as a brother, husband and brother. But while dealing it, you handle it very carefully. Because unless and until you practice it, don't get confused. I am saying the same things for two planets. Yes, it happens. Okay, let us take it like this. Now, let us place Mars in the third house from Jupiter instead of confusion. One, two, three, Mars. So this, so this Mars, which is in the third house from Jupiter, is the brother, the younger sibling. Now, if there are too many brothers, maybe the second younger brother or the third younger brother, that can be known without looking at the birth, I mean, uh, those uh, brothers' details can be known without looking into that, their date of birth by looking into the third house from here. The first younger brother, second younger brother, third house from there, third younger brother. This is elder brother and this is second elder brother. And this is first elder brother. Likewise, you go back and you go forward, you will get the details of everybody. Clear? Don't do that for your sister. Sister is only Venus. Okay? Right. And then, now we'll come to the another important thing about the house. So this is about Mars and Saturn. Fine. Ah. First I'll take about the house. Mars is the house. This is what I have been telling you. If you have to know the location of the house of the native, you have to observe a few things. Okay. For example, sun is there in Pisces. Mars is there in Taurus. Clear? Okay. Now let us take it like this. 9, 10, 11, 12. Sun in Pisces. And uh, 1, 2, 3. No, no, no. This is 12. 1, 2. Okay? Usually, in such type of situations, Mars, Sun here, what is sun? Sun is said to be a temple. Sun is said to be the main highway or main lane. If you see this particular combination, 
you can easily say apart from the main lane on the second apart from the main road on the second lane the house is situated and if at all sun is here you can clearly tell that there is a temple besides the house this is one thing you have to note and this happens in case jupiter is there jupiter is there so you can say on the main road there is a temple in the first lane there is a school next comes the house so his house is besides a school and a temple even this is possible if at all you are looking into a female chart before they hunt for the bridegroom you can easily tell that she will get a bridegroom with who whose house is situated between a school and a temple very simple and that will happen for example in case you are hunting for a, a wife a female for a male chart same in that case venus when i come to venus i'll do that forget about it. so mars and there is one more speciality about the houses always remember sun besides sun following mars will be a temple besides their house jupiter following mars on the either side in one of the rasis jupiter it is a school besides the house and in case if jupiter is there opposite you can easily say just opposite the house there is a school if sun is there in this place you can say that there is a temple opposite the house okay about mercury yeah mercury if at all mercury is here besides because of jupiter it's a school what do you call mercury mercury is a shop shops three or four shops are there okay fine mercury is a shop shopping man if at all you have got venus in this case you are going to tell that there is a atm or a medical store or an hospital you have to use your intuition while you tell that and this will be true okay if it is a female chart the husband's house is situated between a, a medical store or a atm and a school yes it will be correct sun is the main highway main way and how many houses after i mean how many houses up till mars is there such a lane in such a lane fifth lane sixth lane to uh, second lane the house will be situated from the main road this is how we are counting about the house and the main lane and the lanes between the main lane main road okay if at all the same venus is here just like jupiter we say just opposite to it there is an atm there is a medical store there is a fruit shop there is a fruit juice shop cafeteria if moon is there there is water place very clear moon is water if rahu is there this is the beautiful kindly note that in either of the houses following us preceding us if rahu is there you can very easily say that the house is situated besides an old building which has a crack in the wall towards the south you analyze any number of horoscopes this the truth will be the same this is about the houses actually we have got less time there is a lot to know about mars that's why i told you earlier mars is very important next if at all ketu is there rahu either in the preceding house or the following house there will be a house besides the house of the native and that house 
will have a crack on the south wall. Okay. If K2 is there, if K2 is there, in this situation, we can say that the house is in the dead end lane. K2 is dead end, dead end lane. Okay. And one more speciality is here. Pisces, watery place. Mars in Pisces is a watery place. So there is a flowing water there. Aquarius, watery place. If Mars is in Pisces, Aquarius is watery place, it is nearby. So there is a flowing water nearby. Nearby the house, besides the house, near to the house. This is how we are going to take it. And if it is a twin house, for example, Pisces is a twin house, Gemini is a twin house, and also Danus, I'll tell you about Danus, about Virgo, Kanya. If at all Mars is there in Pisces, you can say easily that it is a two floored house. Clear? If at all Mars is there in Sagittarius, you can say it is a three floored house. If it is in Gemini, if Mars is in Gemini Mithuna, you can say that it is house built on two sides or one house for two sides. 30 by 40, 30 by 40 plots and one house, big house. Okay? Or two people would have sold the properties and one person would have bought and made a house there in two pieces of land and here same case Mithura, I mean uh, Kanya, Virgo so this is how you can know about Mars this is only part 1 I have to come up with part 2 uh, I will try to finish it today only so whatever you try to do you observe only one thing Mars is the house Mars is the land. In case of the native, it is his land. In case, in case of the native, it is his house. In case of a female native, it is the husband's house or husband's land. The surroundings of the husband's house. So these things can be noted through that planets, other planets in the adjoining houses or in the seventh house. Okay. This is how we get the information of the information or complete details of the placement of the house. Okay. There are a few combinations where I want to share it. Of course, this is from my book only. I have not got it from somebody's book. Unluckily, that book is finished or out of stock. Now, there is one combination where Mars, Saturn and the Sun. Anyway, in any sign. Mars, Saturn and the Sun. If these three planets are there. Mars, Saturn and the Sun. If these combinations is there for a native, he may take up profession in missionaries or designing works either pertaining to missionary or design okay this is one combination second if the same combination get jumbles with moon so it will be hotel industries fine and just Mars and Ra, Mars and Rahu, travel lines or vehicles and these people also sometimes will become troubles or will get into troubles. Okay, ah, 
because Rahu is accident prone, uh, easily brings people to impair, easily get, pushes people to accident. So Mars and Rahu combination, Mars is also accident prone, Rahu is also the vehicle. Uh, so both these people, they will push him into accident. So native, female or male, immaterial of any sign of Rasi, if this combination is there, that native is prone to frequent accidents. Okay. This is about Rahu. And then, if at all, Mars has in the seventh house, Saturn, the native will be having a low paid job. This is about the combination or the situation of Mars having the seventh house, Saturn. One thing. Now next, Saturn, Mars and Ketu, if they are involved, Saturn, Mars and Ketu, Saturn, Mars and Ketu. If this is the combination, Saturn, Mars and Ketu, the native, he or she will have agricultural income or will have agricultural land or will try to take up agriculture as the profession. At times if it is with Mercury, definitely it will be something but the study something uh, study will be pertaining to agricultural science. Okay? This is about this particular combination. Ah. Now Parivartana. If at all, And seven those uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and six thousand. No, eight thousand. Eight thousand is eight thousand. In case if it is Parivartana. Parivartana Yoga. Okay. In these cases, when there is a Parivartana Yoga, immaterial of male or female chart, the native will grow rich after the marriage. Okay. They will have a lot of money only after the marriage. Fine. And one more thing is there. Only a few extra. No. If at all Rahu follows Mars, Rahu follows Mars, there is chances in the middle of the chart, male chart or female chart, there is chances for the native's brother to have a danger through accidents. This is one. Finally, the last one. And this is the best part. Uh, I'll just redo it so that it will be clear for you. This is the best placement. A problem free family, a problem free life. If at all anybody has got this combination, really they are blessed. Okay. This is the chart. Again, this will be a little tough. What to do? I have to manage. And you people have to bear with me. There is no other. If this is the best combination or this is the best type of a life a person would enjoy, if at all, if Rahu is there. I am not talking about any sign, 
I am just keeping Rahu in one of the signs or Rasi. If Rahu Ketu are like this, all the other planets are here. Only Mars and Saturn are outside the Rahu Ketu circle. These are the set of people who have problem free life, happy marital life. You can ask me, Saturn's aspect, Mars aspect. See, I tell you a reason for that. Mars is a malefic, Saturn is a malefic. When these two malefics are out of the family circle, where the problems will come? When they are inside the circle, according to their placements, they give you all sorts of problems. They give you accidents. They give you troubles. They give you quarrels. Everything will be there. A family is nothing but Rahu Ketu circle is the family. Among all the other planets there, between the Rahu Ketu, only if Saturn and Mars are there outside, definitely that is a problem free life. And definitely it is a happy marital life or happy family life. Instead of marital life, we can call it as family life. Okay, they'll have a peaceful children, good children and good life inside the house. Right? I'll write the same thing here also because it makes others also understand, North Indian. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In Aries, Rahu is there. In Libra, Tula, Ketu is there. If at all, all the planets are there, all the other planets, except Mars here, Saturn here. So, Rahu Ketu circle, everybody is there. Only Mars and Saturn, those two people who are giving problems throughout their lives or throughout our lives or throughout the natives' life, they are outside. So, there is no chance for them to intervene with the family affairs, with the life of that native. So this is the final step I wanted to tell you all. Of course, I have written this in my book, Principles of Braganadi. Now it is out of print, but still if at all people are lucky, they will get a copy. Sagar Publications has published that book. And it is a wonderful book. All these things you can find it there. I am trying to gather here and there. And uh, of course, uh, that was written, uh, written a long time back, near, nearly 9 to 10 years back. So certain things I'll forget. So that's why I had to give you all. So I wrote it in a slip, a small slip where all I've forgotten. Only that portion I had to give it to you all. And this is the beauty of Mars. Okay? I think I have ended my session about Mars. So till I meet you next time, I wish you good luck and